What's up, guys? Thank you guys for tuning in to Tony's Talk. I'm here sitting with my homie Miguel Reeves. Miguel, how you been? Pretty good, man. How you guys been? Good, good, man. Just working, you know, grinding. And I think you've been doing the same, man. You know, uh, you got a lot of birds last time I came. You still have quite a few, but you got rid of a lot of them, man. How'd that go? The breeding season. Yeah, man. It, uh, we're, you know, sold out right now already. We sold out like, right before we bred last year. Uh, it was a great year. Not even, I'm not going to lie. It was a little bit better than what we expected. And this year, you know, we're working on you know, making it, working on making it even better. That's good, man. Yeah, you know, like... Last year was a hard year for a lot of people, you know, and uh, a lot of people did have successful years as well, though, in, like, certain things, like their, like their fields, or, you know, the trades or whatever. And, like, me, last year I started the podcast, you know, and it's, it's been doing pretty good lately, you know, and, you know, it took a whole year to get where I'm at now, and, you know, you, you see where you're at now, and you've been doing it for years now. Yeah. So, like, it was it last year, was it more fun, or was it, this, like, around the same, or you had a funner year before? Nah, I'm not gonna lie. This this last year was probably more. It still was more fun because there was more to do. Um, I had a lot of, I had a, I had a great year. It was all around a positive year. Got to meet a lot of people. Got to meet a lot of new people. You know, met met new friends, made new friends, um, clients. You know, a lot of clients that become friends. You know, family yeah. and. Uh, you know, part of right here of Rancho La Gran. And, you know, we always try to just produce the best that we can for for our for our people, for our customers, man. Miguel, I know you uh, sat down with Outlaw Gamefowl and did an interview with them. And like, how did that go? And I know you got something coming up soon too. Yeah, uh, I got a they, you know the boys from Outlaw Gamefowl. You know, shout out to the to shout out to them. They um they came and they did an interview right here too. We know about the chickens, about all the birds, how, uh, how what we use, what we do. I'm gonna try to give you guys a little idea of uh, what we do here. And uh, it turned out really great. Um, it's on YouTube. You know, and this year, yeah, I have this next Sunday. If everything goes well, Sunday, you know, we'll be heading out to Alabama. Um, we'll be going to Gator Game Farm. Um, we're going to Boneyard Game Farm and with Blackwater, with Carl Nessie. So we, you know, some my, top breeders, some really it? top breeders. You know, my, my these guys landed with uh, with them and uh, they invited me over and you know, we're gonna go. We're gonna go check out those farms. You know, it's something that I've always. Are you excited to see something like you've never seen before or I, something? I'm definitely excited to learn from people that have been doing this shit, this for their whole life. And definitely want to go see how they run their things, how they, cause they live off of this. Yeah. I, I want to get to that point. And if I'm gonna get there, I gotta go see it and experience it a little bit. So that's this awesome. Is, though, yeah. this is definitely one of those uh, I couldn't pass it up. And that's in uh, where Alabama is. Alabama, yeah, we're that's going crazy, to Alabama. Bro. That's awesome. Though, it's pretty dope, you know. And uh, I know you said you sold out of all your uh, the ones you breeded last year. How many were there? You know, or about how many? Uh, we ended up doing. I did a count. We ended up doing about like. 536 birds last year. Damn. Bro. 536, and we have about available. We have about that I might get rid of. I have about six left. Okay. And that is it. Everything Damn. else is the stuff that I'm breeding again for this next year. Your breeders, your top ones. That's yeah. awesome, though, bro, man. And uh, and Miguel, for this year, I know uh, you're gonna start doing some new breeds or something. You gonna get some new ones in? Yeah, we um. We're gonna get some more in still, and uh, we did get a couple in our, already. We got more of the penny hatches from uh, from David Rat uh, out in uh, Oklahoma from Hatch Village. We got their uh, their McLeans, their Kelsos, um, their both of their Kelsos. They they got a. Uh, and your and your your breed that you have the most is what one again? The one that we made here, and we you know it's ours is the Sweater Three X. The sweater three eggs, those we made years, years back, and they've they have been amazing birds. I know. I also I'm also you know a big fan of the vipers. You know, shout out Nick again. Um, those vipers are yeah, those vipers are nice. But I just see one right now, man. That's just it's clean, dude. They're really nice. They've been really good to me, and I'm not. not, I don't see. I don't see me letting those go anytime soon. (laughs) Yeah. No, that's awesome though, bro. And uh, you know. uh, 
How's everything else going, man? Everything's good, you know. Been been good. Everything Every, financially, everything. Financially wise, everything's good. Like everything is great. No home, the house, family. Everything's doing great. You know, um, just looking forward for this next year, man. Looking forward to hopefully more opportunities, more chances. You know, yeah. Meeting new new experiences. You know, new, just definitely, definitely new experience. Especially this next one coming up, term. You know, like this this next weekend. Yeah, yeah. That's this all. next week actually, because it's gonna be amazing. What a way to start kick off the year, you know? Exactly. And yeah, definitely a lot of people had a rough year last year. You know, we went through some stuff too, but yeah. um, you know, you gotta keep pushing forward and you know, if it doesn't make you if it doesn't break you, it makes you. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome though, bro. And uh how uh, you got any uh shout outs you wanna share say to anybody you met last year, anybody you wanna I mean uh, a lot of people, a lot of people, you know, right here first of all, you know, you and Tony. You know, we Thank go you. way back, you know. Yeah. Podcast, I have seen you, you know, grinding on this for a while, man. And you've been doing your thing, man. That's props to that, man. Appreciate that, uh, man. The boys over there at Outlaw, Game File, those guys, you know, Nick, Dave Rat, some of those breeders that I've been getting some of my stuff from. Um, everybody, everybody, my family, everybody that's involved right now. How many? I know you've been doing raffles, man. How many raffles did you do last year? Yeah, I mean, I messed around with the raffles this last year. Uh, I, mean, I probably did about. I would say six or seven. I so six or seven. I think it went pretty good. Raffles are tough, you know, for in whether it's whether it's chickens or whether it's a car, or whether it's uh, anything, a piece of gum. You're gonna raffle. Doesn't matter what it is. But raffles are raffles are tough. But um, I mean, if you have the right people on your social media or everything, then you'll do good. Yeah, and all the people were happy when they received their. Uh... Oh yeah, everybody. You know, I mean. I, this last raffle I did, uh, I raffled out 25 bags of uh, feed, and uh, the one person took them, you know, and they bought they bought three three numbers. Each number was 20 bucks, so you know they spent 60 dollars, and they and they won 25 bags of uh, of feed for their chickens. That's badass, you know. It yeah. helps them out too, you know. Definitely, definitely. That's, uh, that's a lot. That's a lot of supply. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. It's gonna last them a while. Yeah. That's awesome. So uh, definitely be on the lookout for more of those because those are more feed ones are coming, and I'll probably do it. You know, spread them out a little bit. Uh, you know, maybe ten. Where can 10 they follow you? At? They, uh, you guys can follow me on Facebook. You know, I'm under Miguel Ruiz. Um, Instagram. Is a uh, Gallo Alacran, uh, and that's usually I mean those are the two my two platforms. And I'll be sure to tag him on a on a post when I post this uh, podcast up, guys. You yeah. know, and uh, Miguel, you got any last words for everyone out there? Uh, just stay safe, everybody. You know, have a positive twenty twenty one. Um, you know, we're coming after it, so everybody, you know, you go after what you guys want. Everybody got to go get it. Right. We're not gonna come to you. Let's go get it. Let's go get it, guys. And I appreciate you, Miguel, for coming on, man. Means a lot, man, and uh, hope you do good, man. We'll talk again soon. We'll do, man, and it was great, great having you. Always, a, always a pleasure. All right, for sure, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in with, to sit down with my girl Rees. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys be good. Peace. Killer Cali, click clack, you all capped in the alley. Killer on what we doing, really? We should be focusing on the milli. Together we can go be on the ceiling. Make a bitch feel a weightless feeling. She only see me when she dreaming. Close to some who make a living off dealing. Seeing so much more from chronic smoke. All the way to that brown dope. Was a chance to make a lot of dope. Make your head ache, cause I be pro. That's where your body would go Grown immune to constant nose Knock obstacles like dominoes Knock, knock, it's me, I ain't no joke Dear Lord Help us stand up When I'm back against the ground Raise your glass up My sound sounds so profound Burn the butt up Rep West, any part of town Throw the dub up West Coast Legends of Fuck
cold hearts with my chisel. Zero to 100 faster than Vin Diesel. Cooking something up, gon' let it sizzle. This gizmo help release the pit out the kennel. I was caged up by the nathom metal. No metal ever, no jacket letter. Man, one shot to make life better. Better doesn't mean you escape cold weather. Rain clouds come and go in the summer. Burn the butt up when you feel a little bummer. Have your girl give you a hummer. Not from a dealer, I bet it'll please her. My flavor's so fluent, game need improvement. Dubs up for the ones known for their movement. Desire overheating whiskey is my cooling. OG, baby, real players taught the student. Yeah, Lord. Help us stand up when I'm back against the ground. Raise your glass up, my sound sounds so profound. Burn the butt up, rep west any part of town. Throw the dub up, for west coast legends are Lord. Help us stand up when I'm back against the ground. Raise your glass up, my sound sounds so profound. Burn the butt up.